How are we doing on this Friday? Okay, hope you're okay. I've been out all day. So, just got in. I'm doing the first video of the day. And what we're going to do is going to talk about bar class predictions on tomorrow. We'll do a bit of that. And we'll talk about Matt Cardona, which I did last night. Bit of a uh, rumours, shall we say. Not sure it's true or fake news. We'll decide. And then we're going to chat about uh, clickbait and fake news on YouTube. Oh, yes, there's loads. Okay, we'll start with the Matt Cardona news then. I did a video yesterday. Um, I'm not sure if I haven't been on the news yet, so I'm not sure if anybody's talking about it. Matt Cardona looks like he might be, rumours, on his way to AEW. Um, AEW collision. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what happened. Someone on Twitter put, uh, put this. AEW Insider is called. My source just sent me this. And basically it's a picture of AEW collision at the top. The roster... The commentators at the bottom, and on the roster there, CM Punk, Dax Harwood, all your AEW superstars there, Matt Cardona, tentative debut for first episode, which is Collision. So, I don't know if it's real or a fake piece of paper, it looks real to me, so we will wait and see if Matt Cardona goes to AEW. Right, we've got the back last this weekend. So, a bit of a side note to Backlash. Some of the superstars are already there. Some are on the way, obviously. So, uh, let's look. Here we go. This is a story from uh, Jessica Carr, the referee. So, on YouTube, somebody did a, this story, but completely different. Okay? I'll, I'll do what they said, and then I'll tell you the real news. Okay? Somebody on YouTube, no names, just saying, fake news. Somebody said, maintenance problem with a plane, WWE on the way to Puerto Rico, in the air, over the ocean. Oh my God. Yeah, I'll stop you right there. Fake news. No, that is not true. <laughs> no, I'll, t I'll tell you a different version of the real news. So coming from Jessica Carr, referee for WWE on Instagram, she put this. Some maintenance issue with the plane headed to Puerto Rico. But crossing fingers, they're handled quick. End quote. So basically, they're waiting to go to Puerto Rico. Okay, they're probably at the airport. So, do you see the difference? Just wanted to point that out there. Yeah, that's the difference, you see. Ridiculous comments and things on YouTube. I'll show you another one, guys. This is really funny. A bit, a bit ago, I can't, about a couple of weeks ago, there's a video on YouTube, so funny, Someone's convinced that Rhea Ripley and Dominic Mysterio are actually a real couple. <laughs> oh my god, some people are fucking crazy. This is what the news said. On this news on YouTube, okay. So it said, it said, uh, we'll go through it guys, it's so funny. We'll have a laugh. Okay, here we go. It said, Dom it said Rhea Ripley and Dominic Mysterio have split up. And Rhea Ripley is heartbroken, gutted. Absolutely gutted. I'll stop you there. Right? First of all, <laughs> they're not together in real life. Uh, unbelievable. We'll carry on. She's gutted, uh, and then that, okay, that Dom says mammy, and he's cheated and gone off with somebody else. I'll stop you there again. I'm sorry, what? Cheated and gone off with someone else? And got engaged. S right, so so they're together. He's cheated, gone off with someone else, and got engaged in real life. Oh my god! What the hell? What? D you do realise this person doing the video? They're not a real couple. Rhea Ripley is with Bordy Matthews from House of Black in AEW, and Dominic Mysterio got engaged in real life. Do you know what I mean? Some people are fucking crazy. Fake news. Unbelievable. Couldn't believe it when I was listening to it. <laughs> oh my god, I had to talk about it because that is ridiculous. So upset, he cheated and got engaged with another woman. Oh my god, I've heard it all. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, god, funny stuff. Let's talk about uh, backlash. 
tomorrow. Can't wait. Let's go through the card, guys. I'll get some predictions. We'll leave the best one to last. Damien Priest, Bad Bunny, Street Fight. Oh, yeah, good match. I'm going Bad Bunny. No, I think Bad Bunny, yeah, I think he's going to gonna win there. Yeah. Last week was good. We had a kendo stick. Beat the crap out of Damien Priest. That was good. Then we've got Brock Lesnar, Cody Rhodes. I'm going Cody. I have heard quite a few people think that Brock's going to win. Uh, I saw Wrestle Talk. They think Brock's going to win. And Cody has to struggle and get back to the top again. I mean, uh, I never know. I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to quick guess. Cody Rhodes. Zelina Vega, Rhea Ripley. I think Zelina's winning this. I'm only joking. No, <laughs> Rhea Ripley definitely winning this one. Uh, Zelina Vega's very good in the ring, by the way. She's very, very good. So that should be um, should be good. The other women's match. Bianca Belair. Eo Sky. Nearly called Shirai then. Eo Sky. Uh, Bianca will definitely, I think, win that one. I have heard some people say Eo Sky might be the new champion. I'm going to go for Bianca. Going to go for Bianca. Sami Zayn, KO and Riddle versus the Bloodline. I'm going Riddle, KO and Sami Zayn. I'm going for them there. What a long storyline that's been. Good stuff. And just to finish off, we've got uh, oh, two here. Seth and Omos. I'm going Seth. I've heard, again, I've heard people saying Omos might win. I, I, no, I can't, no. I'm going Seth. I'm going Seth Rollins. And this is a banger. Austin Theory, Brunson Reed, Bobby Lashley, US title. Now, well, Austin Theory's had it for a while. Brunson Reed, he's good. Could get a push. Bobby Lashley's good. I'm going to go for Brunson Reed. Yeah, we'll, we'll chuck it out there. Bronson Reed, new US champion. Let's see if I'm right. Triple H likes him, you see. I know he does. NXT, former NXT North American champion, Bronson Reed. So we'll wait and see. Thanks for watching then, guys.